Awesome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install MetaMask and start using it. Basically how to join the Web3 revolution. I'm making this video because my sister wants to join and she was like, can you help me make a MetaMask? You have like, that question. A lot of people do. So here we are starting from scratch. I'm starting from a brand new browser. Now you're going to need MetaMask.io. Make sure you go to the right website here. Uh, metamaster.io because there are a lot of ripoff websites that are going to try and take your money it is a wild west out there i don't mean to scare you uh, off the bat but uh, make sure you do uh, correctly identify each website that you're going to so so metamask is essentially your crypto wallet where you can hold money uh, and it's a plugin for your browser now what browsers you can use Chrome, Firefox, Brave, or Edge. Now, I've never heard of Brave or Edge, so I normally use Chrome, which works well for me. For you, Safari, unfortunately, you cannot use MetaMask at the moment. You can see I'm here in my Chrome, and up here on the top right, it's, it's a plugin. So if I click on this, my MetaMask is going to drop down, and you can see inside of my wallet and the coins that I'm holding in there. Uh, and so you, you're wanting to set this up for yourself. What I've done is I've installed firefox because i don't have metamask here so we're going to install it together from scratch so first thing you need to do is download it so i'm just going to click download uh, now you can also see it's available on ios and android uh, which you can just get those from those respective app stores pretty quickly but you can't use it in your browser it's a lot harder to link to the sort of websites that you may want to connect to but pretty good if you want to like send money back and forth to someone just like a venmo so i'm going to click on install MetaMask for Firefox, add to Firefox here. Now you can see this is the right one because it's got 625,000 users and 2,500 reviews. So we know we're doing the right thing here. Awesome, so it's asking for permission. So I'm just clicking add here and you can see immediately it's popped up at the top right. So we officially have MetaMask installed, which is awesome. Once again, it's a digital wallet that we have, but what we don't have is we don't have a username or a login or a personal account. So basically we've like installed the Facebook app, so to speak, but we don't have a Facebook account. So now we want to actually get our own account so that we can put our own money in there and then start using it. So I'm going to click on the get started and I'm going to click on create a wallet. Uh, sure, we can help them improve it. And now it's going to put in a password. Agree to the terms and conditions and create can save that to Firefox. Now, this is very important. You can go and watch that video if you want, but if not, I'll explain to you. This is the secret recovery phrase. Now, old school uh, web is basically you have a username and a login using that Facebook knowledge again. You've got your email, your username, and your password, and people need that to log in. With Web3 and your MetaMask, all people need to log in is this phrase. Literally, if you copy and paste this and then put it into your MetaMask or a MetaMask, you can log into the wallet that I'm creating right now. And that's why if someone steals this phrase or gets this phrase, they can log into your entire wallet and take all of your money. So once again, this is not supposed to be scare tactics here, but make sure you keep this really, really safe. A lot of people write it down on paper. Uh, a lot of people copy and paste it into notes and it's frowned upon. Um, because somebody's going to look for it. They're going to look straight through your notes. But the big thing is you definitely need to keep it safe. So I'm just going to copy that and go next. I'm going to paste it into my notes for now, even though it's not the most secure way to do it, but uh, this is not a wallet that I'm going to be keeping. Then I'm going to come back to MetaMask and confirm my secret recovery phrase because MetaMask, I'm making sure that I know it so that I can log it in any time. So going through from left to right, confirm that and it will say congratulations we've passed the test make sure we keep it safe and it, it is a big emphasis on keeping that safe because that's all you need as well to log in if your computer shuts down like mine did my laptop broke i went to the apple store they couldn't fix it got a new computer but my metamask was gone because the only login you have is that seed phrase and you do have a username and password you can set up but to recover it you need that seed phrase from so make sure you do keep that really safe so i'm going to close this news tab and you can see we are now inside of our MetaMask and we can see we have no money in here. This here is your account um, name, which you can actually rename at the top here, um, coming into account details, click on that pen and you can call it my account or put in your name there. Now, 
Underneath is your address. Now, this is sort of like a Venmo address. If you've ever used Venmo or a PayPal address, whenever you're paying funds to one person to another, this is the address you'll use. So for example, if I copy this address, which you can do it by just clicking on it, and then I wanna send money, and I wanted to send money to myself, I would paste my address in here. So you can see that's it. Uh, I've got insufficient funds in here because I can't send money if I don't have any money. But that is how you know uh, where you're sending it to. So if someone else has an address, you'll copy that address and you'll send it to them. Or if someone's like, send me your address so I can send you some money, you can copy that and send that to them and it'll go straight into your account. Now there's a few things we still need to touch on. That's the most basic way we've set things up. So if we go back to say Firefox, Google, and we push that little drop down now, you can see we've actually set ourselves up a wallet. So there's a couple of things I'd like to explain uh, how to get money into your account now so you can use it very quickly. You can think of this as like your wallet. You don't want to keep crazy amounts of money in your wallet in day-to-day -day life. You want to keep that in the bank so you can use more uh, centralized exchanges for that. Uh, and to get money in here, you can essentially go through a centralized exchange or you can actually deposit money directly. Now, I recommend going through a centralized exchange just because it's a little bit easier, especially if you're not in the US. If you're in the US, you can deposit Ether um, through a wire transfer here. And just to see what I clicked, I clicked on that buy button. Um, or you can try it with Transact. These don't really work with me in Australia, but you can try those two. The other thing you can do is you can send ETH straight into this address here. So I would go to something uh, like Coinbase if you're in the US. Uh, if you're not in the US and you're in Australia like me, I'd go to something like CoinSpot um, and you can actually log into these centralized exchanges. These are the, the public, uh, they're not, well, Coinbase is a public company, but they are uh, companies in the Web 2.0 um, sort of construct and you can sign in get an account here buy ethereum through this and then send it to your address on metamask uh, and i use coinspot over here in australia now this is all great if you're buying and selling ethereum and this is australian dollars uh, down here you can see and this is uh this is actually converting it to australian dollars for me as well uh, which is interesting uh, but if i go back to my metamask wallet up here so this is our account and i want to receive something that's not ethereum what you can actually do is you can import your tokens. If it's on the Ethereum blockchain, something like Polygon, uh, you can go over to assets here. And Polygon is another type of cryptocurrency. So let's import Polygon together. So Polygon, oh, might be called Matic, Matic Network Token. So this is another token if you're trying to receive something that is on the Ethereum blockchain. And if you don't know what this actually means, you will as you start to get more and more experienced in here. The Matic is a layer two on the Ethereum. So this has no gas fee. So someone might want to send you Matic uh, because it's actually basically free to send you. And you can see right here, we're now adding to our currencies. You can think if this is our wallet, these are the different currencies in our wallet. These are the euros and these are the Australian dollars. And you can go in and add different assets depending on what you actually need. Now, the other thing is this is everything that's on the Ethereum blockchain. If you click on this down here, you can actually add different networks. Now, this is for different, and it gets a little bit confusing, but I'll explain to you briefly so you get a basic understanding of it. There are coins such as Avalanche that are actually not on the Ethereum blockchain, but their entire new coin. Uh, Bitcoin is another type of that coin that's more commonly known. Um, something like uh, Polkadot, something like Binance Smart Chain. You can come in and actually add these networks in to receive those coins. Now you'll have the same wallet address and I'll actually flick back to my original Chrome browser over here. So you can see, this is my Ethereum mainnet where I have Ethereum. And if I go down, you can see these are all different uh, chains that I'm on. So this is a Binance Smart Chain and I'll have my Binance money inside my Binance Smart Chain. But you can see the account name is still 100% the same because this is still your wallet. But this is just the different networks that you might be receiving money on. Uh, Ethereum being the main most basic one. So that is where you can keep it the simplest. If you have any questions, please ask them down below because I'll do a follow-up answering all those questions for you. If you haven't subscribed already, we are helping you join the Web3 world, start to get in control of your own finances and control of your own money and start to actually do some enterprising entrepreneurial things out there, such as trade an NFT, create your own collection, or even build your own smart contract. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.